Gopher Coaches Show is presented by Window Concepts and Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union. Now, it's the Gopher Coaches Show with Lindsey Whalen and Ben Johnson. Welcome in to another installment of the Gopher Coaches Show. I'm Ahmad Hicks. K-Fans, Justin Gard was too busy for us today or too good for us. So it's just women's head basketball coach Lindsey Whalen and me today. Coach, how you been? It's been a while since we talked. Yeah, yeah, been good. Uh... Yeah, it's weird sitting here uh, <laughs> rather than having JG here, but uh, it's good to see you. It's, it's good, good to see to, you as well. Uh, Hair looking good. Mom, Mom will be proud later um, on, I'm sure. I think she'll be very proud. Okay. Uh, yeah, just finished up uh, some practice, so was able to comb everything out and, and get here for the uh, get here for the day, for sure. All right. Well, let's talk some hoops then. It's been a while since we talked, as always, and since then you guys have won some games, lost some games. Let's start with the good. Penn yeah. State, you guys were able to beat them yeah. for the second time this season. We're going to roll the highlights and take it quarter by quarter. Yeah. I know Reese, Rose Michal had a incredible day, yeah. but just tell me what you're seeing right here from your team and what you were most proud of in this well, game. Well, you know, we've had, you know, obviously some, some battles, and, and I thought that, um, you know, Rose was was tremendous. She was on balance. She she was there. Um, you know, had some. It's a great drive there by Maggie, who uh, who I think we'll hear from later. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, no, I think that uh, Rose and and uh, Coach Jimmy they've been putting in work um, all season, and and just you can see just how you know how deep that catch is there, mm -hmm. and then just getting obviously to her, you know, through her right shoulder, um, you know left hand she's um she's a force you know right. and um she was tremendous that game and it was a battle and it was fun to come out of the um come out of there with a win no doubt when you see rose come out and have the performance that she had scoring a majority of the field goals in each quarter what does that say about her development from year one to year two well i mean it says it says a lot i mean she was you know able to take different things that she was able to learn and see from last year mm -hmm. and then she was able to um, put it in put in the work this summer right. and put in the work throughout um, you know individuals mm -hmm. and you know in team practice and now you're seeing now she's seeing and we're seeing a lot of that pay off right so it was it was definitely um, you know very uh, you know very productive off season off season and, and summer for her and now we're seeing just um, you know everything that she's been able to do it's been um, it's been fun to see and, and, and really fun to be a part of uh, her I'm, journey. I'm sure a very proud moment for you as a coach. Yes. Moving ahead, Purdue, the next game, 75-56 loss. Very tough night for you guys, 27% from the field. What do you tell your team after a game like that? This is the Penn State game. We're not talking about that one. But for yep. Purdue, what yep. do you tell your team after well, that? Well, after that one, you know, I thought obviously in the first half, um, you know, we started out well. And then things, um, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, they're, they're a team with, it was obviously it was a great crowd and a right. great atmosphere mm -hmm. for us. A lot of us, um, you, you know, the group, um, you know, competing and just um, working as we see here, like um, obviously some, some really um, good things happened. The second quarter um, got to us a little bit. Second half, we, we really committed to, um, as you can see, you're putting the ball down, getting mm -hmm. into the basket, being getting more aggressive. And, you know, and, and I thought that we played a good, a good second half and, um, we just got to continue to, um, you know, take those, take the positives, continue mm -hmm. to work on different things from that game that we, um, you know, were, um, you know, un unfortunately able to do, learn from that, right. and then and then be able to move on. So was, um, you know, two tough road games. Mm -hmm. uh, we come out of there with, uh, you know, with a win and, um, you know, one win and then obviously um, on the weekend a tough loss against Purdue. Now, you guys have had quite a bit of time before that, your next game. For you, do you love that time as a coach? Because I know as a player, I hated eight days before <laughs> the next game. So yeah, what's sure. it like for you? Well, um, or, yeah. I'm, what's it like for the team? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I think it's a, it's a time to, you know, get some, get some rest, get mm -hmm. a little bit of recovery um, right. with things. And then, um, you know, we, we were able to – um, you know, work a couple of days offensive execution, a couple of days defensive, and then get ready for, um, you know, get ready for Michigan. And so, yeah, I thought that it was, um, you know, a productive week and, um, you know, end up playing a, a tough Michigan game, tough Michigan team after uh, a couple game losing streak for them. And so, um, you know, again, some, some good parts, but, you know, obviously a lot that we had to take away from in the Michigan game to, um, you know, to be able to continue and improve upon. But, um, yeah, the week is, um, you know, it's, yeah, yeah, and then by the time it was um, time to play, it was everybody was excited and ready to go. So, um, 
yeah, no question, just different times of the season, different schedules. You got to take it, mm -hmm. you know, take it for what it's worth at the time and then just continue to uh, work and get better. Speaking about that Michigan game this past weekend here at Williams Arena, what was the toughest part about that game for you seeing your squad, you know, not being able to live up to their potential per se? Well, yeah, you know, I think that, you know, offensively was, it was obviously, um, you know, here's our first possession. Um, we went and went through and watched a lot of film just offensively where we can be better, how we can execute. And, um, you know, you take a, you take a lot away that it's a lot that we can, we can control, we can fix. Um, and we got back to it in practice Monday, Monday and uh, Tuesday. And we're playing, you know, against a team that, um, you know, has had some Sweet 16s and Elite Eights mm -hmm. and, and playing against some really good competition. So we're able to, um, you know, obviously, you know, battle with those guys and, and things obviously, um, you know, the second half didn't go our way. But again, watch, learn, and then continue to grow within practice is, um, is, is the key. And that's what we have to keep doing. You've said this over and over, but that the Big Ten is the hardest basketball conference there is. For you, what are the advantages for your young core of players mm -hmm. playing in these difficult road games and difficult home games and learning lessons right now? Yeah, you're, we're getting valuable time, valuable right. time, um, everybody. You know, I mean, you know, Rose had some games last year where she started, but now it's it's um, it's different for everybody. So we're, we're out here, um, you know, obviously competing and, and working, and we just got to keep continue to um, continue to grow and continue to take take different um, things that we're learning and um, continue to grow and understand that we just got to keep improving each day. You know, got to keep improving, keep working, and um, you know, obviously, like I said, the second half was was tough, but um, got back to practice in the last two days and mm -hmm. and um, you know competed and now we be ready for the for our next game. Right. Let's talk about one of those young players that you have, Amaya Battle, homegrown yeah. here. Yep. Every ranked team that you guys have played, except for Maryland, she scored double digits. Mm -hmm. What does that mm -hmm. say about her leadership and her poise as a young player? Well, yeah, you know, it, she's she comes from obviously a, a great high school program and she um, she loves to compete. She loves to play. So there's, um, you know, there's no question that she's, uh, you know, somebody who we, who we count on a lot. I thought she had a great practice today and and she's somebody who, who we just need to, um, you know, she needs to continue to get those reps in those minutes and in mm -hmm. that time out there. And um, that she, she like she she loves to play. She wants to compete. So it was definitely a um, a really um, you know good performance for her. We need um, we need more of those. No question. Now, obviously, Amaya and Mara um, highlight the freshman class that you brought in. But what does that say about this program moving forward? We always talk about you guys being on the right path, but mm -hmm. having those two young girls coming in, stepping in, and playing huge minutes and huge roles for you this mm -hmm. early, mm -hmm. how do you think this will benefit them two to three years down the line? Well, yeah, it'll it'll benefit them tremendously. It's just there's no there's no substitution for experience, and so. Just having, you know, time out here, time in practice, time to continue to grow and develop is um, is huge. It's what, um, you know, it's what we, um, you know, it's what we need to keep doing. Right. And so the time is invaluable. Like I said, that time is invaluable, and and we just will keep working and we'll keep getting reps and whether it's in practice and games and shoot arounds mm -hmm. and and continue to grow as a group. Coach, I'm going to put you on the spot here. How challenging is it for you to stay in the moment? and not look ahead and be like, you know what? In a year or two, we'll be just fine. But like right now, we're, we're, we're not where we need to be. How do you stay in the moment right now and not get caught looking ahead? Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I mean, I think that's at times a challenge for everybody, right. no matter what it is. And, and so we're obviously we're talking about the team and talking about basketball now in our program. And I think it's something where you just keep investing daily. You keep investing in the players. You keep investing in everyone. You keep investing in yourself and and you just, as much as you can stay present stay in the moment so there's no question that um that we have you know a bright future and right. um but we got to be ready to compete tomorrow and in, in next possession you gotta stay in the moment absolutely last question i have for you before we have to use one of our timeouts what is your message to recruits about the trajectory of this program because you got a big commit earlier this year mm -hmm. how many more girls are you looking to bring in and how excited are these girls to be in part of your program yeah you know i think it's um it's something where there's that we're, we're building, we're growing. And so it's a fun, t it's a, you know, there's a lot of room to grow. And so, so I think that's, that's exciting. It's exciting for us as a staff. It's exciting for, for the current players and for the players coming in. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, there's, there's no question that, um, that we just, you know, continue to, to focus on, 
you know, in the moment. We know recruiting is a huge part of what right. we do. It's, um, <laughs> you know, it's the lifeblood of the program. And, and um, you know, we've got a lot of, a lot of good players um, coming in and a lot of good players on the team. So we just continue to, to work daily and then continue to um, invest in one another. All right. Well, we have a lot more to come on the Gopher Coaches Show, including Lindsey Whalen's heat feet that she has on today. We'll update that. Plus, one of Minnesota's very own Maggie Sinano is joining the set to talk about being one of those young leaders in this program. We'll be right back. Watching the Gopher Coaches Show. Welcome in to the Gopher Coaches Show. Ahmad Hicks, Lindsey Whalen, and Maggie Sinano. Thank you for joining the set with us today. Thank you for having me. So talk to me about being one of the young players on this team. What are the talks like amongst you guys in the locker room when the coaches aren't around about staying true to this season and not folding and giving in this early? Yeah, I think a lot of the talks, I mean, we are all so young. It's not just me that is young. Mm -hmm. It's not just these freshmen that are young. Um, so a lot of these conversations are just about us learning. Like even at halftime, it's, we can do this, this, this better, but it's look at how far we've come from June, July. Right. So it's a lot about where we've come and what we're going towards. For you, you seem like a utility player. When I watch the games, there's nothing you can't do. You're doing a little bit of everything, rebounding, assisting, scoring points. What is your role and what do you think you can do more to help this team? Yeah, I think my role, at least for this year, a lot is just my defense. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really confident in my defense, especially coming out after last season and a lot of the time in the weight room, which, which is great. Um, but yeah, going forward, just getting that offense going and finding my role that way. Now, how big of an adjustment was it for you to get in the weight room? Because I know coming from high school and stuff, I didn't care about the weight room. A yeah, lot, so I didn't. What either. was that like for you? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't see the weight room very much in high school. You could say that. So, what are some of the adjustments like from playing high school ball to college ball? Obviously, you've been here a while now, but I'm sure you're acclimated to everything. Yeah, I think coming in as a freshman, it's a lot in the summer. It's a lot of weight room. It's a lot of conditioning. It's a lot that you're not used to. Mm -hmm. um, and with the injuries last year, it was really easy to kind of find that home in the weight room because you aren't able to be on the court. So kind of using that to my advantage and um, being able to put that muscle on and come back this season. Coach, is this music to your ears right now? Her Absolutely. talking about loving the Absolutely. weight room? Well, yeah, and you said utility and, um, you know, that's absolutely, I mean, Maggie, she can, yeah, like you said, she can do a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. And she, um, in practice today, was guarding perimeter players, and she was guarding <laughs> some players inside, and then she was driving and passing, rebounding. Um, her mid-range, her attacking mm -hmm. the basket is, um, she's just, you can just see, um, right. you know, just that time in the weight room, that time conditioning with um, with Coach uh, Zandanzevich, our strength coach. Um Got that. That was good. Um, good. We call it, um, so just the time that she's put in, the time mm -hmm. that that um, that we were all able to put in right. um, through. Um, I mean, going back to, to March and April, but then um, June, July, some of August, and now you're seeing it, and and just what a huge impact that she's had, and and now it's she's somebody who who we can put on a lot of different positions. That's and good. then offensively, she brings a lot, to, a lot to the table for our team. For both of you, how important is versatility in today's game? Because I'm sure the game has changed tremendously from when you played to now that you bring a coach. So let's start with you, Maggie. What has changed? How good is it to be versatile? Um, yeah, I think it's definitely changed a lot in these last couple of years. Even seeing my sister as a freshman to now, you kind of, she's a back to the basket post and you don't see that a lot of, the, a lot right. of days. Um, so yeah, just being very, long and lengthy is kind of how our game has changed and being quick on your feet so playing again playing all these p different positions is really important especially if you want to go to the next finishes. level right. you can play overseas coach yeah absolutely i mean the more positions that you can play the the more that that you're going to be out there the more the more um valuable you are to the team and so yeah i think that's something that that maggie brings and, and we have you know a lot of players on our team that can that can play a lot of different positions and the more you can do, the more you can bring to the table. Uh, obviously, the better off for you individually and the, and the better off uh, for the team. Okay. You brought up your sister. Now, I want to bring her up as well. Monica, she plays for Iowa. What's that like? Obviously, I know you've competed against her before. and You've probably competed against her your entire life. But what's it like playing against her on the Division One stage, national TV, local TV, where everybody can watch you guys? Yeah, I have competed against her my whole life <laughs> um, in a lot of aspects, not even just basketball. Um, so yeah, we've talked about it a lot, especially this past game when we were able 
I was able to actually be on the court and play against her. Mm -hmm. um, it's something really special that goes way beyond basketball, just the fact that we both got to this level coming from a really small school where there's not mm -hmm. a lot of exposure. Um, and being able to be successful at this level is really important and something we're really proud of for each other. What are the conversations like leading up to a game like that or after a game? How much trash talk happens before? <laughs> how much trash talk happens afterwards? Um, yeah, there's a definitely a lot. <laughs> um, it's like the sneaky comments. Monica's very sneaky uh -huh. in the, how she words things to try not to hurt my feelings because I am very sensitive. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of trash talk, especially with my parents. My mom tends to break it up and say um, she's proud of both of us at a lot of, <laughs> a lot of times. But a lot of trash talk before and even after and in ev every scenario, every game. Coach, from your point of view, being able to see sisters play against one another on a stage like this, how does that make you feel? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's, um, you know, obviously it's a great reflection of, of their work ethic. Mm -hmm. I think it's a reflection of, of just, um, you know, their families mm -hmm. and just how they um, have put the work in to mm -hmm. both be playing in the Big Ten right. and both be um, successful. So I think it's, um, I like it because there's so much that we don't see mm -hmm. that now we're, we're talking here together and, and there's so much that has gone into it for players to have this success that, that even as coaches, you don't see, you know, the, you know, the middle school games and the high school games and whatnot, um, the competitions in the backyard or the driveway. Mm -hmm. I think that that's a great story. And I think it's something that, um, that's really cool about, um, about our game and, and about how, how just the more you the more you work, the more you get out of it, and it's a, right. it's a great story. I have to ask you this: uh, the transfer portal was alive and well. Monica, she didn't come to Minnesota. What what's what's up with that? How can you? How did you not get her here in the maroon and gold? I, you know, I think she loves her black and gold. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say she didn't, um, but yeah, she she's 100% all black and gold and. She wasn't recruited here, which I put shove in her face a little bit every once in a while, <laughs> going when she was middle school, high school. So I think she, she that was our Iowa's only Power 5 offer. So I think she, she kind of stays true to that. Okay. Now I want to talk to you about the program moving forward. Obviously, recruits come in. They hang out with you guys. They get to learn the program and whatnot. What's your message to them, and what are you telling the recruits about where you guys are going? Yeah, I think it's really important to kind of – like show that we're young, not be like be vulnerable to that. Show that we're we're moving forward. We're making these mistakes now, but it's for a reason. Um, and I think they can really see that. I think coming out of high school, you see that, and you want being a recruit. You want to be a difference maker, and you want mm -hmm. to move a program forward. So just making them believe that and having them come and join us. What's it like to play for a coach like Coach Whalen with all the professional experience, the long list of accolades that she has? What are the benefits for playing with someone like oh that? Oh, my goodness. There are so many benefits, and I think all of us talk about it so often. It's She sees things that you don't even, like, think about. Right. Like, she'll say, like, like say she sees a back cut or, like, she sees where your pass is going, even mm -hmm. if it was a deflection, and she kind of understands what being a player is like and mm -hmm. those mistakes and how they happen. Um, but, yeah, it gives you so much confidence, and she lets you play the way you want to play. She lets us all play our own games. So, yeah, I think we all have a lot of confidence going into each and every game. Well, we appreciate you joining the set, Maggie. <laughs> yeah, good answer. Good answer. Now, coming up, we're going to talk about your skills as a basketball player, some half-court shot competitions and whatnot. Oh. So make sure you guys stick around because more fun is on the way. Plus, we check out Coach Waylon's Jordan she has on today. More Coach's Show coming up after the break. Back to the Gopher Coaches Show. Welcome back to the Gopher Coaches Show. Ahmad Hicks, Coach Whalen. We talked about those half-court shots. First, I want to ask you, how many of your players have ever challenged you in one-on-one -on -one or half-court shots, and how many have ever beaten you? Oh, we've, I mean, we have played before, right. uh, and I've gotten in some drills as, as um, recent as last week, but... Um, you know, hard to say. I mean, I've I've won some, I've lost some. Uh, you know, once you once you retire from playing, it, right. it's the speed different. gets a little different. So, uh -huh. but I'll get out there every so often and, and play and get some two on two, three on three games. I'm mostly a half court player now. Okay, makes so, sense. Me too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Me <laughs> so, too. So I, um, but I, there's still, I mean, once you get out there and you get competitive and, and things usually. Um, Good. So this <laughs> gets the fun. juices going. I'm sure half court half shots. Half court shots. No yeah. That's uh, that's a great. There you so are. It's a great, uh, 
great time. <laughs> great time. So. Um, How often do you guys do this? Oh, every every shoot around, every shoot around. We we everybody gets to shoot one half court shot, and there's. Um, she beat me that day, and um, I don't know. It's something we do every game, and it's something that everybody, like I said, everybody gets to shoot one, and then you have your your winners, your losers, right. and whatnot, and. Um, Hey, and then it's a shot like you never know. If, you never know if you're going to, um, you know, take one in, in a game and you want to <laughs> be ready to go. <laughs> Real quick, what's the benefit of having Coach Bannum on your staff for your players? Well, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, Rach, is, Rach has been great, and she's somebody who's come in and, at, uh, you know, she's not in a, in a coaching position, but she's she's been, um, you know, somebody who has been great on the staff and, um really just I mean she's still playing so she's right. still playing mm -hmm. she's playing at a really high level she's she's still doing um the same going through the same things that the players are going through so she offers a different perspective than even um you know Shilly, Sh Sh Shimmy Kelly Marwan can right. offer as uh former players because she's still she's still in it and she's still playing so mm -hmm. um so yeah there's there's no doubt that she she brings a lot and I mean, she's just an all-time. She's also just an all-time great, great person. So we it's good to have on your staff. No doubt. Now, as promised, we got to talk about Coach Whalen's shoes. Some nice Jordans here, purple color. Can you talk about the selection today? Pretty icy, pretty clean. You know, I ordered those um, so to bring on the show actually, because <laughs> uh, I knew you were always kind of seeing what I've got on. So I um, I ordered those a couple weeks ago, and I then I was kind of going through the closet, and I, mm -hmm. th I thought, well. Let me bust these out today, and um, and here we are. I know they're. My hope was that we would be in the Super Bowl, and they're oh. purple. Oh. But so we'll be back next year. We'll be back next year. The Vikes will be back we'll, next we'll year. We'll end it on that note. The Vikes will be back next year. Coach Whalen, thank you for your time thank as you. always. We'll see you guys next week for more Go for Culture Show. Have a good one.